Yo, what is up guys? We are here for week six of the PCPL Little Cup. I have my team up there for, uh, you know, what we're bringing against Josh because I'm not doing a team builder because I've been sick for the last week. But basically, we are bringing the hail um, and then we have EVLA on pretty much everything. Choice Specs, Gimme Ghoul, one shots, basically their entire team. So yeah, I mean, it looks pretty solid. It looks like we have a good matchup. I'm worried about the Zora because that's the only thing that Gimme Ghoul doesn't really take out easily and then they probably are going to bring some sort of scarfer um whether it's going to be the quaxley or the magnemite i'm um, probably magnemite but we'll see we're just going to lead with our timber here because it is very good against their team this and the grimer goes crazy um they might want to bring in the wheezing or not the wheezing the coughing um because that's a great physical wall um, but if we can get that thing knocked off it's going to be really nice for us as they just lead out with the magnemite now we're here, we can easily click like a drain punch into it, but I assume the bolt switch is coming out. So we just click knock off, uh, try to get that EV light off of the coughing in the back. And uh, they do end up bolt switching. And what do we end up seeing here? It's gonna be Smokey Joe, which is going to be that coughing. So we get a good predict on turn one. And at this point, I'm chilling here, I'm guts. So I can easily stay in if they wanna click Will-O-Wisp because the rest of my team doesn't really wanna take this. Um, I can easily take that and then do a ton of damage back to them. Now they don't have that EV light and it'll make the game a lot easier for everything I have in the back. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to click Ice Punch, I think. But I mean, we don't really have a great switch in. I am thinking about maybe going Gimme Ghoul because I can one shot this thing. Uh, but we're just going to get the Ice Punch. Shows that they're definitely max Fizz Def as they get the Sludge Bomb and the Poison. So we do have the Guts boost to our attack, but we're not going to be able to take them out from here. And we're going to die to two more rounds of Poison. Just a little unfortunate. And now here, they're obviously not going to Willow, so I was thinking maybe go Sand True here. Um, I can also go out into Gimme Ghoul because we do resist the Sludge Bomb that they're probably going to go for. And then we can threaten their entire team with a Choice Specs Shadow Ball. Especially now that we know this thing is not going to be like a Zora or something. But they do double out, uh, which is a little bit annoying. They go out to the Magnemite, which at this point is definitely looking like it's going to be Scarfed. I mean, bringing it in like that, I could have easily clicked Drain Punch or just, you know, been able to get a Mock Punch off afterwards. Um, so, we're going to stay in. If this thing is Scarfed, it's going to outrun me, which it does. But we're going to be able to kill anything that comes out that's not the Zora. So we just click that Choice Specs Shadow Ball. And they are going to bring out, what is it going to be? What is it going to be? They just pick their sack. It's going to be Zippo, the Charmander. And uh, this thing is just super dead. Uh... I don't think that thing was Eevee Light. Even if it was, it would have been dead. It, we would have done like 80% of that thing. Uh, this mod is super powerful. So they bring back out Electron. So this is probably the Magnemite again. Um, we can easily bring out our Voltorb here since we're going to four times resist the Volt Switch that they might want to go for. They don't have the Charmander that can threaten us out as much. Uh, the Eevee Light on the Weezing is knocked off. So a Volt Switch versus that thing is going to do a lot of damage anyways. So honestly, this mod looking really, really solid in this game against the Josh. They're going to bring out the Grookey. And uh, this is not the actual Grookey because there's no Grassy Surge. So this is the Zorark. Um, and we're calculating, you know, Specs, Sludge Bombs. I think we should be able to live that sort of thing. So getting any sort of damage off on this guy is going to be really nice. So we get a drain just to have a chance to live too. Um, they do a lot of damage. They also get the poison with that. Um, and they show to be Choice Scarf when they outrun me. Um, but we do a ton of damage back to this Pokemon. And get, you know, a decent amount of HP back. So we can potentially take another Volt Switch or two uh, without dying to the poison. Which is pretty nice. Uh, but now, you know, this mod's doing too much to us. We do have, you know, potential for Sandshrew to go crazy in this endgame. As soon as we get a Sword Sands up, we honestly just win on the spot. There's nothing that they can really do about it. Um, it. Well, if we have the hail up, because, you know, Quaxley can outrun me. But at this point, I'm just going to sack this guy off. But they withdraw their Zora, which is a little bit interesting. Not what I expected, as they go out to the Magnemite, which I was walling anyways. We get a good amount of damage off. Obviously not Eviolite. And uh, we're going to go out to our Timber here, because we can threaten it with a Mach Punch. They don't really want to switch anything into this Guts Boosted Mach Punch, and we're just stacking off Timber anyways because it dies to poison. So, you know, if they want to go out into their coughing, it's fine. But 
you know, basically after that, it's completely free to go out into our Grimer and wall that thing. But they do let the Electron go down. So having Magnemite down is really nice. Get that to get rid of one of the Choice Scarfers on their side. So now basically, you know, we're faster with our Voltorb and our Gimme Ghoul and everything besides the Zora. But with Gimme Ghoul, you know, they do have Aqua Jetting Quaxley, they have Grassy Gliding Grookey, so probably not going to be the best Pokemon. As they bring back out the Zora here, this is great for us. Um, we do have Knock Off, we have Drain Punch. They might want to switch out, they might just click U-Turn out here, but Knock Off is really good in anything as they do just click U-Turn. doesn't do too much damage. Um, we are incredibly bulky, able to take on basically their entire team here. And they're going to bring out Smokey Joe, who is going to take a lot of damage here. This knockoff, even without the item, is a good chunk. Um, and at this point, we are going to switch out here because I'm not sure if Shadow Sneak is going to knock them out. I do not want to get burned. Uh, I really don't want to, you know, take too much unnecessary damage because right now Grimer is a great win condition. It easily lives basically everything. And Gimme Ghoul in this endgame is pretty useless. So if I can get it in here, potentially get another kill, that would be great. So if they click, potentially pain split, that would weaken me a lot. Um, it's really good as they do end up pain splitting, which is really good. Um, and we can just get a free kill with Shadow Ball here. Even Zora definitely dies at this moment, so they have to pick a sack. It's going to be Smoky Joe, which makes a lot of sense. This thing is pretty low anyways. But yeah, we're sitting in a pretty good spot. Obviously, they can easily revenge kill with basically anything they have in the back. And they're going to go out to Daffy, which is the scariest Mon, because this thing can Aqua Jet me, and then it gets its Moxie boost. But we have to sack at this point. But we should be able to live anything. But they do not have Aqua Jet, so we do about 90% to them. And they're going to Brave Bird me. And do they die to the recoil right here? No, they live on a sliver. Um, they get the Moxie boost, but luckily we do have the Grimer in the back that can click Shadow Sneak. Um, no matter what, we would have been able to eat whatever hit they wanted to go for with this Mon. And uh, potentially click Drain Punch or Pain Split or something. Even if they Aqua Jetted my other Pokemon. But now we have a pretty easy endgame being able to Shadow Sneak that Mon. Grimer going crazy here. Now they have the Grookey and they have the Zora, I'm pretty sure. Neither of which can really do too much. As they bring out the actual Grookey. And this actual Grookey, I mean, it just gets absolutely bodied. We don't have a poison move, but we can easily click Drain Punch and get a ton of health back. Um, or we can click Knock Off and just remove whatever item that thing has. And honestly, at this point, you know, they just gave me that grassy terrain. So we're never going to die. They do a good amount of damage, which shows me that that's going to be Choice Band and Grookey. But with this Surge Up... I mean, it's really not going to be enough. They're going to go out to Loki here, and we're going to get a knockoff, knock off its scarf, and just be able to knock it out in one shot, which is not what I was expecting. I really wasn't expecting to knock that thing out, but we do. And now it's just Grimer versus Grookey, and there's nothing that this little monkey can do. Even if it ends up being like Stomping Tantrum or something, Choice Banded into that, we do have outs um, because we do have... You know, our Voltorb that's faster as they end up Drain Punching us. Um, we can set up the Hail. We can also just click Ice Shard, which is really nice. But Grimer is going to be able to pick it up here on their Triple Choice team. Good game to Joshua. We are, you know, in a really good spot. Only one loss so far throughout the season. But next week, we play the number one team. So, yeah, that's going to be about it. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.